as part of our 20th anniversary of V-Series, we're telling the untold stories through the generations. We're here now to discuss Gen 3. With the third gen, it was truly revolutionary, right? Two different vehicles, one that we could really laser in on the handling and precision much, much more, and then have the bigger car that could barely be that Executive Express jet. Well, and this was the first opportunity for us to do a brand new architecture. We started that while second generation V-Series was you know, fully in swing, but taking all of those lessons that we were able to get phenomenal structure. What does this generation's philosophy actually mean? You just go to your dealer, you get your car, you put gas in it, you make ever sure everything's tight, and you have a legitimate race car. We actually engineered the performance parts to fit the, the platform so that they'd actually work the best for the customer. I remember some people telling us, like, oh, nobody's ever going to put race tires on their CTSV. I was at a track day, a person pulls up in their first gen V, and they had four Hoosiers in the back seat with their jack, and they're bolting their Hoosiers on to go out and run their track day. And I took pictures of that and kind of used that to say, all right, when we do the next one, <laughs> these right. people are actually doing this. People racing these things are taking them to tracks or taking them to drag strips. So we got to make this car not only track capable on a road course, mm -hmm. but also has to be track capable on a drag strip. And that led to more and more technology with launch control, launch control and line lock and all the other things we ended up with over the various generations. There's certain people that want to turn everything off. I got this, I'm a professional. There's certain people who are just, this is my first track day. I want to enter at a level that I'm comfortable with and the car will basically teach you. You just answered my next question, which was going to be, what hole did this fill in the strategy? And really, I think in summary, we have a V-Series for everyone. We always used to say, we're not developing an amusement park ride here, right? right? We're developing a sophisticated instrument and being able to teach you and enable you to do those things that you're doing, whether it's autocross, drag racing, whatever. That's the specialty of V-Series. What is the actual behind the scenes, the stories that you've never told before that you're dying to tell? Kevin and I and one of our technicians flew down to Circuit of the Americas. Three guys rented a Formula One track for with an entire day. Tool. Yeah. Yeah, with a bag of tools. So we had a portable hoist. You know, we kind of brought our lunch in a brown bag. We had the three cars, and those cars ran all day. I mean, we were exhausted because the cars never wore out. This is built by a small group of incredibly passionate people. You can find something at each track that you can make better. And that's a culmination of a great car then when you put that whole mix together when you're done. It drives beautifully. So all this time testing and driving on the track, did anybody get a race car driver name? We nicknamed uh, Kevin Space Monkey. Space Monkey. Because uh, there were a couple of things where we've done the math and we're pretty sure this is going to work. Hey, Kevin, <laughs> why don't you hop in? <laughs> we made little stickers. I've yeah, still got one. Yeah. Yeah. 